They ruled the Earth for over 160 million years, from tiny two-legged sprinters to towering titans. Dinosaurs were nature's greatest success story. But then, one single day changed everything. This is the full story of the dinosaurs, their rise, their reign, and the day they died. 250 million years ago, Earth was recovering from the greatest mass extinction in history, the Permian-Triassic extinction. Out of the ashes rose a new group of creatures, the Archosaurs. Among them, like Eoraptor and Herrerasaurus, emerged. These weren't giants. They were small, fast, and lightweight. In the Triassic period, Dinosaurs were just one of many creatures vying for dominance. 201 million years ago, nearly 90% of life on Earth vanished in the Permian extinction. Oceans turned acidic, temperatures soared, entire ecosystems collapsed. From the shadows of this shattered world, a new type of reptile emerged. The archosaurs, the ruling reptiles, some would evolve into crocodiles, others would take a different path and become dinosaurs. Welcome to the Jurassic period, a time of life, lush forests, and giants beyond imagination. The planet was changing. The supercontinent Pangaea began to crack. New oceans formed. Climates grew humid and warm. Rainforests stretched across the equator. For dinosaurs, it was paradise. Dinosaurs diversified like never before. In the west, sauropods like Brachiosaurus towered above the trees, some over 80 feet long and weighing more than 40 tons. Diplodocus evolved long whip-like tails to balance their enormous necks. In the shadows, Heavily armored plant eaters like Stegosaurus developed tail spikes known as the Thagomizer to defend against attackers. But where there is prey, predators are never far behind. In North America, a new king had risen, the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. Over 40 feet long, bone-crushing jaws, and one of the most powerful bite forces in Earth's history. But he wasn't alone. Across the plains, Triceratops marched in numbers, each one a walking fortress of horns and bone. In the underbrush, Ankylosaurus, low, slow, and impenetrable, dared any predator to approach. And in the rivers, monsters swam. Spinosaurus, the only known aquatic dinosaur predator, was longer than T. rex. With a crocodile snout and a towering sail on its back, it hunted in water and on land. Meanwhile, in the skies, pterosaurs ruled the winds. Dinosaurs were everywhere, in every ecosystem, every continent. Meet the dromaeosaurs, also known as raptors. Not the monsters from Jurassic Park, but real creatures like Deinonychus, Microraptor, and Velociraptor. Feathered, intelligent, pack hunters. Their bodies were built for agility. Their eyes faced forward for depth perception. But evolution had something else in store. Birds did not evolve from dinosaurs. Birds are dinosaurs. They are the last surviving branch of a once great empire. Feathers were not a final act. They were an adaptation for survival. And while giants thundered across the land, these feathered forms were already preparing for a very different future. Then, 66 million years ago, the countdown began. It was a clear day. No warning signs, no rumble beneath the feet, no signal from the skies. Just another warm morning in the Cretaceous. Until, 
At exactly 11 o'clock a.m., a fireball lit up the sky, brighter than a thousand suns. And within moments, life on Earth would never be the same. A seven-mile-wide asteroid struck Earth at over 45,000 miles per hour. The energy released over 10 billion Hiroshima bombs. The moment it hit, a crater 100 miles wide tore into the Earth. Temperatures around ground zero rose to 27,000 degrees. Rock vaporized instantly. The crust buckled. Earthquakes circled the globe in minutes. Everything within a thousand miles was gone. Even in distant forests, trees exploded into flame. As the fires died down, a new threat emerged. Total darkness, ash, soot, and sulfur choked the skies. The sun disappeared. The global food chain began to break apart. The age of plants and the herbivores that depended on them was collapsing. Vaporized sulfur from the asteroid's impact site returned to Earth as acid rain. Rivers and lakes turned toxic. Meanwhile, the oceans rose. Mega tsunamis, some over 300 feet tall, crashed against every coastline. Islands were erased. From the oceans to the skies, the planet was dying. One single day ended a rain that lasted over 160 million years. It was the most violent turning point in the history of life on Earth. The dinosaurs never saw it coming. But even in the darkest of winters, some life endured. Survival didn't belong to the biggest or the strongest. It belonged to the small, the adaptable, the hidden. Birds, descendants of small feathered dinosaurs, survived. Mammals hiding underground endured the cold. Crocodiles and turtles outlasted the winter. The age of dinosaurs ended, but their legacy would live on in the skies above us. Today, every bird you see is a living dinosaur. And every fossil dug from the earth tells a story of an ancient world. The rise and fall of the dinosaurs is not just a story of extinction. It's a story of resilience, of evolution, of rebirth. Subscribe to Just Imagine World for more journeys through time and the mysteries of our planet.